And just like that, we have a new year. And I have to admit, it feels good. Of course, years are just numbers we have constructed to keep track of that endless and constant movement, which is time. Still, I find it is helpful to look back on the year that passed and reflect on what happened. So I do not forget my life completely in the hunt for these things in the future. For me, 2021 was a really hard year. And it was not really that much because of the pandemic. And speaking with some of my closest friends at New Year's, I also realized that I was not alone in having a really heavy year. It's like we all went through some gut-wrenching, painful stuff this year. People close to us got sick. We lost animals, jobs, self-esteem, people. Strangely though, a lot of good things happened as well this year. I started freelancing and it went really well. I think one of the things that kept me going was actually work this year. I created videos and I got in contact with a lot of you guys that watch this channel. And that really helped. It is just this insane beauty here. And I can't really decide where to film because I want to be everywhere at the same time, so... Hello, friend. That really was cold. Not really the ice bath, but the after thing when you put on your clothes. That's when I really get cold. So now I'm kind of eager to go home and sit by the fire. Oh, and my bike is frosty. And we moved to the countryside of Norway and we did not know anyone there. It's still a bit strange, to be honest, when I walk in the town. I'm just thinking, why here? I am headed up my, um, what to say, my usual mountain where I go sometimes to film and look at the sunset and stuff and I was really thinking that it would be really hard to go up here now because usually it snows over this pathway and it's really hard to get up here but I have been lucky this year so the snow is really hard and also I think somebody has been walking here so it's still Actually, still there is a path here, so I'm really happy about that. I am encountering the usual problem, which is that there is ice underneath the snow. So I had some stuff that I really wanted to, I don't know, 
just talk to you guys about. Um, but it's a kind of slippery here. And I don't want to fall with the camera in my hands. So I think I will see you at the top. I was really lucky because the sun has not set yet, so it's always something that I'm really happy about when I get up here before the sunset because then I can just relax and sit there for a while. Because maybe, as you guys know, uh, if I wait too long and it gets too dark, it's kind of hard to get down from here without getting lost. So yeah. But anyways, what I wanted to talk about was that I've actually lived here uh, for a year now. so. This kind of got me thinking a little bit about the whole thing that I've been, been living here and how strange it is in a way that I live here. For those of you who have not really followed me from the whole start uh, when I moved here, you can go back and you can watch those videos. They are out and I have kind of talked a little bit in one of those videos about why we moved here from Bergen, which is the next biggest city in Norway. And I will link that down below. Basically, when we moved here, we had no friends here. We had no family here, even though my family, both my father and also my mother live two hours away from here uh, in different places. Um, but we didn't have them here. And also we did not have a place where we were going to live, uh, but we found that. That was the first thing we found. And we did not have any work. We had saved up like a little bit of money and our plan was just to to just do it because we had been talking about moving to the countryside for like three years. Um, but we never did it because we were studying in Bergen and uh, we wanted to finish that. And after I finished my studies even, we kind of, I don't know, you know, the pandemic hit and uh, we were like, well, is this a good time to, to kind of move away? and? You know, try to find a new job in the midst of a pandemic isn't that easy, so we kind of waited. But then eventually we just decided that we just have to go, because we will never really know where we'll end up if we don't just try. And honestly, this place is beautiful and it's a great place to live and I really love it here, uh, but it's not like the most beautiful place in all of Norway. It's not like the most rural place either. It's like a town here and you have like 5,000 people living here and there's a university here. And if you really want to like go explore this countryside Norway type of life, then maybe this isn't the perfect place. But I mean, I really love this nature. Like, I really love this nature from the deep of my soul. Uh, I just really love being here. And when we were thinking about moving to the countryside, we considered so many different places. Like, we were sitting on uh, Finn.no, which is the place where you look for houses in Norway. And we were just like finding random places and in random areas of Norway that we have never heard about before and we were like using Google Maps and just, you know, using the street view to walk around and actually like explore the area. And we were just really, really confused and we just never really found that place, you know, that perfect place, that dream place, you know, that you just wanna, you just feel like it's right, you know, people talk about that and I just, we waited to kind of find that perfect place and just that place just never showed up and uh, in the end we decided to move here and we have been really lucky because we kind of ended up feeling like actually we really like it here there is so much forest i love forests and i love the river here and there is also mountain here which is amazing but yeah so honestly it was kind of weird moving here and i think people that know us also thought we were like a little bit weird and I still some of them, I think some of them still think that it's a little bit weird when they come here and I mean the town here is nice and all but it's not like a beautiful cute little town center. It's kind of ugly honestly. Still I really like it though but I mean it's it's fine you know. And I think people would have 
kind of understood it a little bit more if we moved to somewhere more spectacular because then the nature would kind of explain why we live there um but yeah that doesn't really matter you know it matters if you care about the place if you like the place and if you like me would like to move to the countryside and you just don't know where to go if you have somewhere like this, somewhere that you know a little bit or that you have been before, maybe maybe it's a good place to start, you know? If you have the possibility to try, then... But it can be a bit tricky and it was kind of lonely in the beginning, you know, in the pandemic when nobody really wanted to hang out with new people. Um, so I was really grateful that some of the people that we met actually wanted to just go for a walk with us or hang out in a safe place, you know. I just really wanted to share it because honestly I think it looks as if we have had like everything planned and we had like, we were so like secure about this move and we were like, this is going to be so nice and then it just was nice, you know, and, and it seems like we had everything together. We didn't really have a plan and it worked out either way. I'm just so grateful for all of that. So even if this year was like, ugh, like a really, really tough year, honestly. It was also like such a beautiful year in so many ways when it comes to that, when it comes to this choice of moving here. <sighs> but yeah, I will probably have to cut away like half of what I was saying right now. I think I'm gonna look at the sunset a little bit more now. So thank you for listening. Bye.